Hi there, and thanks for joining in. Eric Hill contacted me asking if I wanted to review their new ER02 EMF meter. Well, as you might guess, my answer was sure, send me one. And here it is. My surprise was when I started to make some research on this device. I found out that it is very popular in the paranormal communities to find ghosts and other entities like that. Let me be clear, you will not see that here, not judging, but for me this is only for electronics, EMF metering. On that note, it seems that this small device can detect electric fields, magnetic, magnetic fields and radio frequencies, so they call it a 3-in-1 multifunctional meter. This device is a bit out of scope of the devices I review in the channel. Nevertheless, the idea of being able to test some EMF around my own equipment seemed interesting, so I accepted the challenge. If you guys, ninjas in these areas of expertise, want to share some knowledge or correct something in the video, please don't be shy. A lot of knowledge was left on the comments of the geyser counter, also a topic that I was not very familiar with. This device was sent for review free of charge for me and I didn't receive any payment from Eric Hill to make this review. That said, thank you Eric Hill for sending this device for review and all my viewers that sponsored the channel by using the affiliate links in the description or the affiliate access links here on the screen before paying your purchases on AliExpress or Amazon. You help the channel but pay exactly the same, so thank you. Without further ado, let's detect some fields. Okay, as usual, let me start by showing you what comes in the box. This is the box, it's branded Eric Hill. It says here that we have RF detection, EF detection and magnetic MF field detection. So yeah, it seems okay. Let's see what we have inside. It starts with the manual. Okay, it has a lot of language in it. English, German, French, Italian, Spanish. I think this should be Chinese. So it seems a uh, okay manual. Yeah, it has some info in it, infographics also. It's organized, so it's better than most. And we have about four pages for yeah of user manual. This is another language already. Okay, so we have also a charging cable, USB Type-A 2, whoa, what is this? Okay, this seems to be micro uh, USB. Why? Why they kept micro USB? Everyone uses USB Type-C nowadays. And we have the unit. Let me take this out of the way and see what else we have in here. Okay. So the first impressions, it has a nice design. This seems to be rubber or plastic like rubber. It's glued to the, to the case of the device. Yeah, but it's a very anti slippery. Um, it will prevent slip and yeah, we have five buttons. This one works as two buttons. So mostly six, MGUT I think, graph, sound, AVG, average and max. We have the power and old button and the mode. So that's it, pretty simple to, to operate I think. Multifunction fields uh, EMF meter. Yeah, it seems, okay, let's power this on. Okay, in terms of operation, when you lose the power of the uh, device, it will always start in RF mode. You will have here on the screen the um, auto shutdown timer. If you want to disable the auto shutdown, just press modes 
for a while and press it again to enable it and in here is the battery indicator below we have the average modes or the max modes uh, it will tell you the max that uh, the device had and the peak in here so you can change between modes and in this middle uh, section you will have the information about the severity of the, the well the unit that you are testing in the user manual you have a table that will help you to understand but it also change the color while doing that as you can see we have good slight severe and extreme and for each measure you will have the range that will uh, affect you okay so we have here a graph that will uh, increase as is measuring as you can see this is measuring uh, 4.22 13 it's oscillating milliwatts per square meter i think this is because of my mic i use a, a lapel mic with a radio connector so it might be something related with that we have the peak also in the keys in the bottom we have the hold and you have here in the screen that is holding okay press again and you are back to to the normal so in the bottom we have mg or ut so this means micro tesla or centimeter gram a second unit it's something like that we also have the button to change the average and max as i showed previously we have the sound to enable the sound or to disable and we have a graphic also in here okay pretty easy to use one more thing is if you press graph for a while you will have a totally different display uh, black uh, with white letters or you can have white screen with black letters okay so let me show you in terms of radio what we have i have here my unit it is a godox unit as you can see just by reaching by like this you will have a measurement this is kind of a kind of uh, worrying because it detects a lot of energy when yeah when it's near and this is to be used uh, well close to the body so yeah i don't know if this is good or not but it doesn't seem like so in terms of radio that's what we have as you can see here the graph if i go to max now i have here the max value that it reached and this is the average let's move on to voltage per meter in this one it's pretty similar to the other one but with a, uh, a difference you can press sound a long press on sound it will reset as you see zero calibration okay and if i bring for example something electric you can see that he will detect the field around it okay so as you can see it's detecting the electric field it seems a little worrying that uh, it has to be so close to detect well right now he detects 10 voltage per meter but it's like 10 centimeters you cannot see because it's out of the, the the range of the screen but yeah it should be detect something better this is almost like a multimeter ncv function you have to be on top of it to detect anything but it seems to work anyway if i take this away it will detect five yeah also a graph available yeah and the last one is the magnetic fields so right now it's with the centimeter gram system mg but we can take it to micro tesla it will convert the values and micro tesla it's in reality the default system that it comes so yeah let's see some magnetic fields if i bring the, this again it will not show you anything let me try 
with this yeah it detects something but nothing serious and I have here a Neomadian magnet okay as you can see it detects something but this it will not work with static uh, magnetism it will have to be rotating or moving to create uh, values that will be detected let me show you okay and if I move faster it will increase the values if it is static yeah, it will detect something, but not really what uh, it is supposed. Okay, I will put here my mobile phone. It's in Portuguese, because as you know, I'm from Portugal. So, as you can see, just by being on the sides of this device, it detects immediately radio frequencies. It shouldn't, because right now I have data and Wi-Fi disabled. Let's enable Wi-Fi. Okay, it seems to, to be okay. Let's enable mobile data. And when you enable mobile data, as you can see, it detects a lot of fields. Mil uh, right now, it's 9 milliwatts for square meter. Yeah, with the data enabled, you will have a lot of uh, information going on. Let me disable everything. Okay, it's disabled, disconnecting from the network and it should be okay now yeah let me put this in uh, plain mode yeah all good taking this out of plain mode ah, we have bluetooth also <laughs> he always uh, connecting by bluetooth i was forgetting about this one plain mode and everything goes away yes this is pretty cool well if this is damaging for the human flesh or not I cannot say it shows here severe yeah the truth is that the mobile is always uh, close to the body or most of the time yeah the experts say it will not damage anything but yeah it will detect something okay that's it i just want to try this uh, near a microwave to see what he detects so i have here my microwave uh, right now even if it's not working it still says it has two point something milliwatts per square meter let me see on electrical fields it's four five yeah volts per meter and we have in micro tesla 0.96 okay going back i will now power the microwave and let's see what happens okay in terms of radio frequency as you can see it's increasing a lot yeah it goes to the severe to extreme zones <laughs> not very cool to be here watching this let's move on to voltage volts per meter in decrease but it's on the safe zone nothing serious and in terms of magnetic field it is also also worrying so we have 20 micro teslas 21 yeah and he says he's extreme extreme it's not good in their chart and yeah going back to radio frequency i never like to be around the microwave while cooking i'm only here to show you but this seems to affect everything magnetic electrical and radio okay now it's going down again slowly but yeah it's going now okay that's it let's move on so now it's tear down time okay let me zoom in a bit more okay so here it is there's nothing much to talk about it because they 
scratched everything. This is laser burnt. Yeah, almost every component has been scratched out. I don't know why. It seems that in this part we have something that might be uh, the radio sensor for RF detection. We have some kind of metal part in here, just near this sensor, uh, the, sorry, this inductor. This might be something related with the, the magnetic detector, magnetic field detector. And yeah, but basically there is not much that uh, I can talk about because I cannot identify any of the, the ships here. So yeah, just to let you see how it is, we have the speaker here, the beeper. And yeah, let's move on. So to wrap it up, this device seems very handy. So let me talk first about the price. At 32 euros or around 35 dollars, it is a great bang for your buck. Considering that you get 3 meters in one device. Probably I wouldn't put this device on a high-end measurement equipment, but if you need to detect radio, electrical or magnetic fields, this ER02 can be a great help. I don't have equipment to assure that the readings are correct, but it seems to be very sensitive and the fact that it has three different meters in one device is also a huge plus. This is only my opinion, but I think that this product is mainly aimed to a hobbyist area like ham radio enthusiasts, but even so if you are a professional that needs to measure some EF, RF or MF field, I'm sure that you can give some good usage to this device. So if you are considering to buy this EMF tester, don't forget that you have the affiliate link for this product in the description or you can use the affiliate access links here in the screen to support the channel. No extra cost for you, but a big help for the channel. Your help is really appreciated. And if this video was in any way useful to you, please spread the love and smack that like button. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. And if you want to be the first to get notified whenever I upload a new video, just hit that bell to activate all notifications. That's it for today. Thank you for your company and I hope to see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.